Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be tacking the flop and looseness in our steering wheel. We've gone a good 95, a little over 95 miles. Uh, since we got the car fully registered on the road, all good to go. We're taking a few cruises this weekend and I'm a little sunburned, if you can't tell, uh, from being with the top down, which is a good problem to have. But what we discovered is that our steering wheel has a lot of looseness in it. Um, you can wiggle it quite a bit before the tires actually respond. So we're gonna do some diagnosis on that. We're gonna look at the joints underneath the steering wheel where the linkages, uh, linkages are. And then if that is all good and tight, then we're gonna move on to our steering box, which is inside the engine compartment and see if we can slowly tighten that up little by little, not too much, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. We're gonna take a look at it and see if we can get it fixed. You can see all that movement there. Well, that's not responsive to the wheel. The actual tires are not moving. It's just the column here. So we're gonna start at the bottom. And we're going to start looking at all of these joints. We're going to make sure they're nice and tight. You can see that I cannot move them, so the U-joints here are good. It's just the actual wheel that's turning, not the joint. So the next thing we're going to do is pop the hood, take a look under there. Since those U-joints are nice and tight, we're going to come down here to our steering box. I'm going to see if I can get you guys down in there. Maybe be able to see it right there where there's a flathead slot in the 19 millimeter nut around it. That is our steering box. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to take our 19 millimeter wrench and a long flathead. What we're going to do is crack. Let me see if I can get down in there for you guys. See if I can get the sun to cooperate. So what we're going to do is then uh, we're going to crack that nut that's on the top. Let's see if I can point from up here. So we're going to crack that nut that's on the top. That's going to loosen it. And this screw with the flathead in it from the top, we're going to turn it in a quarter turn at a time and that's going to slowly start tightening up our steering. So we're going to turn it a quarter of a turn. We're going to come out. We're going to try our steering one more time. We'll come in here. We'll take a look at our play, see how much play we've got. And if we still got some more slop, we'll do another quarter turn. Now the key here is to not overdo it right away. You want to do a little at a time until it's nice and tight. If you overdo it, you can break it, and we don't want to do that. A good thing is you can see how far back in here. You can see how, ooh, that's hot. Don't burn yourself, by the way. Uh, so you can see how high that sticks out, which tells me that this steering box, uh, steering box has not been adjusted um, probably very recently or at all. So it's a good sign that it hasn't been constantly torqued in and torqued in and torqued in, and we still have that slot. So that's a good sign for us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break that loose and start tightening it up. So we've got it all tightened up. Um, we've got that screw down in there. Now I had to end up doing it about one and three quarters turn because there was that much slop in the steering wheel. Now you might have to slowly back out that nut a little bit, screw it in some more, and if it starts getting tight, make sure that screw on the outside is still loose. Um, but once you get it nice and tight, you'll see here on the steering wheel for me, much tighter, much, much tighter. Now a little bit is just, you know, some of the give in the car. I could go a little tighter, but I'm not trying to overdo it. I wanna make sure that I have um, a good test drive in it to make sure that's actually accurate. Um, so we tighten down that lock nut on top to make sure that it doesn't adjust itself out um, and loosen up again so it's nice and tight. And we are going to go do a test drive and make sure that's still sufficient for us. If it is not uh, as tight as I want, I can still tighten it up a little bit. Like I said, you don't want to over crank that because you will break it. So do not overdo it. If it feels good, responsive, leave it. All right guys, and with that, that's gonna be the end of this episode with just a 19 millimeter wrench and a flathead screwdriver. We can adjust all that slack out of our steering and make our driving experience that much better. We took the play out, again, do a test drive, go around the block, get a little bit of RPMs in the engine, start taking some turns. Uh, up and down a neighborhood is probably really good where you're turning a lot so you can really get that feel. You want the wheels to respond just right. Now you don't wanna overdo it. Again, I'm gonna reiterate this one more time. Don't overdo it, you will break it. You don't have to get a whole new steering rack box and all that stuff, and that's just not fun at all. So don't overdo it. When it feels good, leave it. Um, you can always adjust it later. Now, if your gearbox is really screwed down all the way in there already, and it's still sloppy, you're probably out of luck, unfortunately. But for us, we were really lucky. Ours was still protruding quite a lot, and you can tell that it had never been adjusted before, or at least it didn't look that way. So we had plenty of room to take up that slop. So thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. It really supports the channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Helping us grow, helping us get bigger as we continue to work on cars like these, keeping these cars on the road one at a time. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, we'll see you.